Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the Unitarian Universalist Church of Augusta, where our mission is to create a beloved community acting together with compassion, reason, and respect, empowering us to promote a just society. Here in the CSRA, we reside on the lands of the Westo peoples, the Savannah Shawnees, and the Iuchi peoples of the Muscogee Confederacy. My name is Cheryl Martin. I use she, her pronouns. And as worship host, I am co-creating this service with our music director, Joseph Patchen, and our choir, the wonderful, talented folks on running the tech deck. And all of you, whether you're attending in person or via Zoom. Awkward page turn. But we do one Sunday every month in which there are five Sundays. Today's worship will be a Teze service. Meditative prayer, music, and silence will be at the heart of our experience. This is very much a service built on spiritual practice. The singing of distinctive and much repeated chants in candlelight is one of the trademarks Teze music highlights simple phrases repeated or sung in rounds. This repetition is designed to help centering meditation and prayer. In that spirit, we'll be singing a lot today and we'll sing each chant several times today, followed by an extended period of silence. Folks at home are encouraged to sing too, but please keep your mics muted. <laughs> <laughs> if you're unsure of what's going on, the repetition will help you feel more and more comfortable. Join us in singing when you feel ready. We don't have a set number of times we're singing through each chant, but we're going to drill it out together and when the chant seems done. Because today's service is recognizing the Jewish Passover Holy Day and the Christian Palm Sunday Holy Day, We'll make meaning through our chants and readings about that important occasion in the Christian Holy Week.
Today, we begin to walk to Jerusalem, the Holy One, to demand that we face the broken path, the abuse of power. Today, we journey toward the day spring, breaking through, the Easter day of joy. So let us prepare the way. Let us join together this morning in worship to see what holiness resides within and about us, to welcome in the day, to make straight the path for the work of God. Let us worship together. We're going to sing this chant. I'll sing it once through the choir. We'll sing it once through, and then we invite you to join us, and we'll sing it until it feels right to stop. The voice of us be cry in the wilderness. We through a couple of times and then we'll split up. The low voices will be led by our basses and tenors in the first part and our high voices will be led by our sopranos and altos who will follow. So we'll sing, sing through a couple of times so we get familiar with it. Rise Thank you. 
Could we have the next slide, please? For this chant, the low voices will sing a drone with the words, love justice, live humbly. Love justice, live humbly. Love justice, live humbly. The upper parts will sing. I'll sing this through once, the choir will join in once, and if you'll join us after that. Sing songs as you go, all of us together, keep telling the story. Sing songs as you go, all of us together, keep telling the story. A Tangible Commitment by Elizabeth Murphy. 
UU Church of Augusta leaders, both voluntary and staff members, work diligently throughout the year to be careful and attentive stewards of the congregation and its funds. Countless meetings, reports, documents, and budgets are necessary to maintain the health of our congregation, especially ones that have endured for over 70 years. We depend on our church administrator, Laura Lynn, our tools and our teams to track where every dollar goes, and they do just that. Yet the gifts you must, the gifts you make to our weekly offering or through your amount, your annual pledge represent more than the lines on the spreadsheet. Your contributions are a tangible commitment to the mission and vision of our faith community. Each time you give, you renew this commitment. And as a result, your support is entwined with all that we believe and all that we do here together. This is its own special gift. In that spirit of trust and generosity, we gratefully accept the offering. Will the ushers please come forward? Thank you for your generosity. And thank you for that musical selection too. That was real, that was wonderful. And here I am again. And here I am again. Um, <clears throat> this is a reading from the book of John, chapter 12, verses 12 through 15. The next day, the great crowd that had come to the festival heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem. So they took branches of palm trees and went out <clears throat> and went out to meet him shouting, Hosanna, blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord, the King of Israel. Jesus found a young donkey and sat on it as it is written, do not be afraid, daughter of Zion. Look, your king is coming, sitting on a donkey's calf. 
We got another awkward page turn. A reading from the book of Matthew, chapter 21, verses 12 and 13. Then Jesus entered the temple and drove out all those selling and buying in the temple. And he overturned the tables of the money changers and the seats of those who sold doves. He said to them, it is written, my house shall be called a house of love but you are turning it into a den of robbers. And from Matthew 23, chapter verses 27 and 28, woe to you, people who abuse your power, hypocrites, for you are whitewashed, but for you are like whitewashed tombs, which on the outside look beautiful, but inside are full of the bones of the dead and all kinds of uncleanness. So you are also on the outside. So you also on the outside look righteous to others, but inside you are full of hypocrisy and lawlessness. This shall be a house of Woe to you, hypocrites, you are like whitewashed tombs. Woe to you, hypocrites, you are like whitewashed tombs. Woe to you, hypocrites, you are like whitewashed tombs. Woe to you, hypocrites. Thank you. 
As we revisit this chant, we're going to do two parts. The high parts will sing. And the lower part will sing. Thank you. 